back to my channel. Today we're talking about the new makeup releases for this week. So if you want to see more of new makeup, then keep on watching. Also, if you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I absolutely love colorful and fun makeup. So if you want to see that, then subscribe to this channel. Listen, this is the first new makeup releases for 2023. I am excited. I hope you as well. We do have though a lot to go through. So let's roll. Maybe let's start with what I have on my face today, and that is the Essence Hugs and Teddies Limited Edition. Listen, I do have, uh, like I can show you, I do have the uh, face palette and eye palette. That's the one I am wearing. And then I do also have the lip product. Again, I do wear these beautiful, stunning. Is it like the best quality or anything? No, I do also have stickers, by the way, <clears throat> but I think it's a good quality. I think the uh, shades, especially the lip products, stunning. Um, the shades for the palette is really nice. I wish that this one would be lighter, though, because, yeah, it's not that light. And this one, I would hope that this one would be lighter as well, because this one is quite light and this one is deeper. I don't get exactly why. Uh, we also don't get a mirror, just so you know, but yeah, in general, do enjoy it quite a bit. So yeah, I did bought from that collection. Let's talk about the other purchase I made and this is the new Odin's Eye Singles and these are the Jewel Shine collection. You do have, how many do you have? 12 multi-chrome single shades and then you have 30 shimmer shades. I bought, I think, Four multi-chromes and then I think one shimmer shade because that was the one I was the most interested in. The uh, multi-chromes are 14.95 euros and 6.95 euros are the shimmers. And if you're from the US, I think they are 14.50 dollars and 6 dollars 50 for the shimmers. Just so you know, they do look stunning. I did order them, and they are also shipped as well. So I'm hoping to get them around next week, maybe, maybe also the week after. Then I will do, of course, a look and video with the multi-chromes as well as the one shimmer shade I ordered. So I hope you are excited because I am. So let's start after the things I bought, totally. Uh, let's start with the things um, that are new that I didn't buy so far that I didn't buy so far. One is, or two products from L'Oreal. We do have one that is the Say Hello to Magic Brows. This is a, a, a machine, like something like this, that will draw in your brows. You just have to choose. There are different um, nine shades available. The price is between 149 and 199 bucks. And then you have an app where you do it and then you just put it here and then it will draw your brows. Um, yeah, for me, this is a pass. I think, I mean, you can definitely see why I think um, because I don't need that, but I can see people that just don't get in the brows or even for like cancer patients. I think that would be like a really nice thing. So yeah, that you just like draw in your brows. I don't need that so this will be a skip for me and then the second release from L'Oreal is also a machine which is the first AI powered motion stabilizing de device it is working with some Lancome lipstick so this is stabilizing um, if you are um, not capable of holding maybe a lipstick quite nicely or need or you do have any like um, like disability, this stabilizes your like hand and then you can draw in your lipsticks, which that is kind of cool. I love that. Um, okay, now they, this is, should help customers uh, or consumers with hand and arm mobility challenging challenges applying lipstick and it will work with uh, hopefully more than that, but uh, first of all, it will come um, or it will work with uh, Lancome 
lipsticks this will be around 199 bucks again i do love that these are really in innovative uh, products again i don't need that but i love that they are like doing this this is amazing and i think if you have a disability and uh, you need these products i love that you now can have them and that is amazing let's talk about a product i will not buy i mean the first ones are also a pass for me, but because of other reasons. This one um, are two new kits from Huda Beauty. These are the uh, lip trios in two shades. We do have um, the Bombshell Lip Trio and the Icon Lip Trio. Um, I do like it. Let's say it like this. We do have a lip liner or lip contour, is that's what she is calling it. A bullet uh, lipstick as well as the liquid matte lipstick in the um, iconic shade or bombshell shade. And then I think a fitting lipstick as well as a lip liner. I mean, this, these are pretty. Definitely pretty. I do like that. Do you need to see? Yeah, I would be more interested in the bombshell. But again, I do have tons and tons of lipsticks so for me this is a pass. P. Louise is also releasing some new products and it is a big badge. There is the or this is the blend away um, 2022 collection and we do have an eyeshadow palette with 50 shades for 50 bucks. Uh, we do have a makeup remover tub, uh, makeup remover mist, uh, sleep mask, lotion, cleanser, shimmer body wash, bubble bath, body scrub, under eye brightening patches, as well as um, two wash away skincare mystery boxes, which to have also two different prices. Again, I am saying it again. I do want to try P. Louise. I heard at least from friends that the quality is really nice, but this palette is like huge. This is 50 shades. 50 shades it is quite neutral so for me this is a skip again all the other products as well i mean it's kind of nice that they do have that um as well especially like a cleanser a body lotion i mean these these are good products i feel like a lot of brands like go into the skincare um direction as well as like makeup removers and pillows is not exception from that it's not an exception for that so the prices are okay, I would say. Again, this is a slip though. We do have two new releases from NARS. First of all, we do have the Air Matte Ultra Lip Tint, which, I mean, I do love lip tints. We all know that. Maybe if you if you are longer here, I, I absolutely love lip tints. Do have to say, I do prefer a more glossy approach of lip tints, to be honest. Um, this one's um, more matte, which again is playing in the K-beauty direction, um, so it's not a bad thing. I think that NARS is also like going on to that train. There are six shades, beautiful shades, again, love that. And then um, again, I do have do prefer though a glossy approach, so that's a skip. And then we do have also the Orgasm Spring Collection of 2023. There is an eyeshadow palette, a face palette, and then two blush sticks, an orgasm and orgasm rush. Yeah, the stuff we don't need. This, this is not what we need at all. Again, it's nothing new. I, I'm, uh, I talked about this in one of my videos that I think that NAS is releasing over and over and over again the same products. This is no exception. I mean, yes, this uh, blush stick we had before, again, the face palette we had before, and then the eyeshadow palette is also nothing exciting or cute or whatever. Like this is, um, yeah, this is a skip for me. Again, do think the tints work cute. This one though is a total fail for me. Also, after uh, talking about limited edition Hugs and Teddies, Essence is also releasing a foundation and concealer. And this one just dropped at Ulta, just so you know. There is the Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation in 15 shades, medium to full coverage, natural looking and long lasting. And then we do have the Keep Me Covered uh, Concealer in 10 shades, medium to full coverage, lightweight. And this should be hydrating, soothing redness, uh, kept oil in control, and minimalist looks of pores. Do you have to say, 
I don't think the shades are doing it for me. I wish there would be more shades. I also saw a content creator that has really, really dark skin and she was like, yeah, these, this is not, this is not the way to go. It was way too light on her. I don't know though if the lighter shade is even light enough for me. So, mm. and the concealer is the same thing. I think it's not deep enough. It's also not light enough because I think this one is also not light enough. I will see if they come into stores, if I will pick it up or not. Again, I didn't see them in stores as far as I could tell, so yeah. But this is one of the things where I'm like, I will see if it comes to store, I can swatch it if I like it or pick it up. We do have a sneak peek of a new collection from uh, Geology Cosmetics. This is the Wheat Belt. I don't know what it is. Probably I would think of a palette which I would be interested in. If this is a yellow palette, maybe with blues, mark my words, then I will try it. Ge Geology Cosmetics is an Australian brand, if I am not mistaken. Other than this picture, we don't have anything. I am excited though. The first palette was quite nice. Of color scheme wise, it was nothing that I didn't have, so I didn't pick it up, but this one, Again, if it is something with yellows, I could be persuaded. Let's talk about Wet n Wild. They also have two releases again. Like I was like out two weeks and then this happened. But there is, first of all, the Pampered Collection, which is um, a lot of goodies for Valentine's Day with a self-care and shimmering effect and handy tools. It does look pretty. Again, probably not coming to our town, let's keep that real, and or to our country, let's keep that real. And the other one is the, um, I don't think that this is a collection, it's just a bunch of new products. We do have some uh, lip colors and glosses, uh, some shadow silk liquid, uh, blush sticks, liquid eyeliners, powders, gel duos, uh, we do have the new blush icon shade Bed of Roses and Brown, 5-on-1 uh, Essence Primer and Finish Powder, Eyeshadow Primer and the Dada Eraser Silicone Free Waterproof Eye and Lip Mask Remover. So you can see a lot of these products. Again, if they come to Germany, I would definitely love to try these. Uh, there are a few products I do like from Wet n Wild and uh, yeah. Again, if they come to Germany, I will pick them up. Let's talk about Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics and they are releasing in the new year a new complexion powder and they're switching, if I am not mistaken, or like adding to this. They had their four pen um, like face powder palettes and now they are bringing out two times six powders. One is the Face It All Correcting Powders and then there's also the Face It All Brighting Powders as well as the pa palettes that are called the Face It All Bright and Setting Powders which are again four shades. But now you can buy them individually if you say well I don't need a whole palette with four powders. Now you can buy separately if you like it like a brightening powder as well as a face powder which I do think is a great choice Again, I didn't try them. I do want to try Jaclyn Cosmetics, but so far, you know, it didn't tickle my fancy, so yeah. But again, it is uh, coming on the 8th of January, which is today, if I'm not mistaken. So if you are interested, again, I will link everything down below. My Cosmetics is also releasing a new face tint, which is the Biostrobe Dewy Skin Tinted Moisturizer. It has a lot of good ingredients, as per usual. It is luminous, soft sheen, and enviable dewy finish, 16 shades. I think it would happen, but again, like these are dewy. Like listen, these are really, really dewy. And I think it's a little bit too dewy for me, particularly. I do have combination skin, so I would definitely, like if I would, like the colors, are okay I think could work I mean this is a like a more of a CC skin tip type skin tint type product so I would say okay even if it's not like exactly your shade you can make it work probably 
So yeah, but this is a skip again. It's a little bit too glowy for me. We also have some new products from Lime Crime. These are the, uh, let me say, Wet Cherry Glosses. Um, these are new formulated vitamin E uh, glosses. And does it say how many? I can see 11, 12, 12 shades. They do look pretty. Uh, they are $14 each, which I think is a quite reasonable price. Let, let's be real. There are a lot of cool shades, an orangey shade, a dark purpley shade. So, ooh, the dark red shade, nudes, again, warm tone nudes, cool tone nudes, a greener shade, which probably will be clear. So I think this is a great release. Again, will I pick it up? Probably not, because again, I do have a lot of products, but in general, a nice release. Let's talk about Colourpop next. They are like having a new re free refill program, which I do appreciate. And this is, um, you can get one single pan refill with every order you take, as long as supplies last, of course. So you just had to Colourpop, then you click off palette refill at your favorite pen shade to your cord again one per order and then you place it in your palette which is i think an amazing idea again great idea um you see a picture here there is are a bunch of neutrals i don't know if it is like all of the palettes because then you would have also like more colorful shades but i think this is a great idea i think that as well i think this is a great idea because i feel like if you are a hardcore like Colourpop fan and you do have one palette, two palettes, maybe not like 80. Um, I think this would be a great choice if you like didn't want to purchase the whole palette because you just hit pen in one shade, but it's your favorite shade. Love that. And if you don't have like a palette that is like empty, you can also add into your like single collection. I do have quite a few like shadows and singles so this would be amazing as well i do love that and then the second release from colorpop which is live if i'm not mistaken is the collaboration with wings club if you don't know there was at least when i was younger um there was a like cartoon series i did like that quite a bit and there was also lost here the wings club on next netflix which was a real life adaptation which is discontinued by the way uh, I didn't watch that, to be honest. But there is a palette, there are glosses, there are highlighters. I think one glitterly obsessed um, glitter. Did I have it right? Yeah, the uh, 15 pound palette, ultra glossy lip, light sticks, which are the bad girls, if I'm not mistaken. Um, then we have the glitterly obsessed body glitter gel. And then we also have some face jewels as well. I think this collection is stunning and beautiful. Will I pick it up? Probably not. Listen, I don't know what it is. I don't think that the palette speaks to me, even though it is a colorful palette. And I absolutely love that. Listen, Colourpop, hold it up. Do more, do more. I, I am all for that. I do love the colors. It's just not, like, it does look like a rainbow palette, if I am not mistaken, except for blue. Which, I don't know, maybe the one shimmer is a blue, so then it would be a rainbow palette. I do love the colors. I do love that it is a colorful palette. I do love that the six lip, like, glosses are quite neutral. Listen, if you, I think if you like one of them, I don't think that they give up a lot of color. You know, if you want to have, like, the blue or green, I don't think that you then have blue or green lips. Um, I do think the highlighters are really, really cute as well. A lot of good shades. I think this the collection is an amazing collection. I love it. Will I pick it up? Probably not. Maybe. <sighs> Listen, I look at the picture of the palette and I absolutely love it. And then I look at swatches. I'm like, ah, you know what I mean? So yeah, both of these are amazing. I, uh, If I order from Colourpop and I want to order from Colourpop, again, I'm missing one of the Star Wars palettes still. So I will pick up maybe one or two things. Let's talk about ELF. ELF is releasing new camo color correctors. We do have five shades, a blue, a green, a yellowy shade, a semi shade, and then a or more orangey. It's like looking more of a terracotta shade, if you, if you will. These are quite affordable, $4 each. I do think this is a great, 
great choice 12 because if you have a problem with the right undertone of your foundation you could mix them in if you have like a more like blue is correcting a little bit uh, yellow is correcting also you can use them on your eyes so i like that and i do love to do that because especially here in that part i do have really dark under eye circles so i do like to correct with a more salmony shade which again i could see myself um buying maybe the salmony color which is peach um and maybe also the blue color I feel like if I'm not mistaken and my color theory is not wrong, it does correct a little bit of um, like a really yellowy foundation, if I'm not mistaken. So I do have the problem. I am a more neutral undertone, leaning more to the warm side. But if it's like too warm, I'm going into Oompa Loompa mode and that's not what we all want. So this could be also really nice. Again, do love this. It's a great choice. Love that. Then we do have something I won't pick up at all. And this is the Tarte Sugar Rush Sweet Craving Palette. Does look cute. You can tell. It does look like a praline, like um, sweets box. And that's cute. The colors though, not interested. Uh, it is pretty. It does go really, really deep. It's not going light enough for my like and my taste. Uh, in general, it does look cute, even though, and you know that, maybe if you saw uh, previously um, releases with me, I don't like that the uh, shapes of the pens are not the same. But for this one, I can excuse that. I know, I'm strange. But yeah, it's it's cute, but it's not my taste, so this is a pass for me. We also have a new release from Urban Decay, which is the Quickie Stay Naked Concealers. Please. Listen, the names, Nas. I don't know if um, DK was like, oh, well, for Nas, this is working great. Let's do that for us as well. This is, again, a concealer. We do have 24 shades. Um, this has a full coverage concealer. It has a Dodge Doe for the applicator and a buffer brush on the cap. It's infused with vitamin E. Uh, I do have to say, I do like the packaging. That's nice, so you don't need other tools. You can just like put it on with the doe foot and then blend it out with the uh, brush, which uh, buffer brush, which is amazing. Well, the shade range isn't though. Yeah, I don't think that, no. I think the like uh, lighter shade is not light enough for me. So yeah, this will be a skip because the 10 and N would be perfectly again from color wise in like the neutral direction but again it's not perfect for me because it's not light enough for me or it will not be light enough for me so yeah this is a pass sadly yeah this is a pass by the way we do have to like keep up with the good stuff because again i was out for around two weeks if i'm not mistaken so yeah we do have also a new collection from pat mcgrath about the lunar new year and I don't even know. There's a palette. There's under a setting powder in a special packaging. There's a lipstick. The palette is looking cute, quite neutral. So a skip from me. I do love. I would love to try the powder. This is the under eye powder. Would see what love to see if that has is making a difference, like in whatever this is. Again, a great red lip is always a great choice. Just saying. But uh, I think this is already out, so if you want to like it, again, I will link at least one place you can find it down in the description bar. Also, there is another drugstore release from Catrice Cosmetics, and this is the Dear Universe collection. There's an eyeshadow palette, uh, nails, as well as uh, fake lashes. Do you have to say the eyeshadow palette is a little bit dull? if you will. Like, listen, look at the packaging and then look at the colors. I was, if you see the packaging and not know what is inside, I would go with orange, pink, purple, like a lot of beautiful shades, maybe in duochrome because of stars. And then you look at this and it's like a brownish palette with a little bit of like a switch, a small switch to a pink and a little bit of a purpley shade. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's not what I expect. Again, I would have loved to have a little bit more fun with this, but it's not. The lashes, though, do look pretty. I do like the packaging. The nails, again, I do my nails 
by myself so this is a skip yeah it's not a bad collection but it's also not a really good collection we do have also a little sneak peek uh, from Kosas and it seems like they're releasing some blushes, baked blushes. They had the uh, like cream blushes with highlighters and they now will also like release some baked blushes. They will come soon. Um, they are clean, silly smooth baked blushes, skincare active, actives in color duos yeah they are like swirly pattern i think this is looking cute will i buy it no because listen i heard so many not so good things about kosas because of preservatives and that they go bad quite like easily so that's a skip for me they do look quite nice they remind me a lot of these Maybelline blushes are they Maybelline blushes I'm pretty sure where you also have like a small compact and then some swirly blushes remember these good old days I had all four shades really pretty this shade is do is really really pretty I do absolutely love like the more itchy shade but yeah this is probably a skip for me we also have a new release from give beauty which is the brand by Gwen Stefani and they releasing a mascara and this is the can't stop staring mascara it does look quite a little bit like the uh which one is it the one from benefit the real mascara like shape wise if you will like it's a little bit of a ballpoint uh, at the end it's ultra black mascara that lengthens, lifts and separates. It has some um, castor seed and argan oil blend. It is weightless with vitamin B. Like there are a lot of good ingredients. Will I buy it? Probably not. Listen, I don't need a high-end mascara. I do wear falsies if I like go on the YouTube. So yeah, this one will be a skip, but it does look good. So let's talk about maybe NYX Cosmetics because there were a few releases. I think I talked about the foundation. If I'm not, I'm sorry about that. But there will also be uh, the Fat Oil Lip Drip Lip Oil. Listen, this is gorgeous. Definitely will buy at least one of them. Probably two. And then there is also, listen, there are a lot of NYX releases I want to try. They are not yet here in Germany, so I need to wait and I hate that. But there is also the Brow Glue, if you remember, is one of their favorite like products that do a lot, lot of people rave about. And they are releasing the, um, the Brow Glue Instant Brow Styler that is now available in different shades. So, um, yeah, as well as, of course, the original. You can see four shades here. It does look pretty. Definitely want to try that as well. So yeah, these two are going on my wish list. Definitely want to buy them. Again, together with the foundation and probably five other products from NYX. Let's keep that real. Let's talk about a release that is already up. This is the Natasha Denona uh, Mini Pastel Palette. Yes, it's the Mini Pastel as well as the Pastel Plexi Glow Highlighter. Yeah, the prices are not right here. Uh, on my phone. There is a pastel palette from Natasha Denona. This is the mini one and normally she's releasing them around 25 bucks. It's 27 now so it's a little bit of an increase in price. This palette on the other end is not like speaking to me at all. It's just one matte shade. Then we do have four shimmer shades. I don't hate it but I wish it would be different if you know what I mean. Um, I do have two of the mini palettes. I do love them. I do love them a lot, but I do want it to have like at least two or three mattes and then two shimmers would be fine as well. Uh, it is complementing the big palette. So if you have that, these shades are new and not included in the medium palette. Uh, but again, it's nothing I like would pick up. And then there is the highlighter, which is not 27 bucks, which it says here. It is, I think, around 40 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. I had I have linked it down in the description 
box in cool, from Good Beauty. This one is not a multi-chrome highlighter. It is a highlighter and then you have like one corner is pink and one corner is a little bit mint. I wish though this would be at least um, duochrome, trichrome, something like this. Again, if you mix them together as far as I can tell about previous like um, influencer that swatched this, even if you put in the pink or the mint, it's not going to make a big change. Again, the color for me would probably work, but it would be a little bit too medium to deep. So again, both of these products, they look pretty, but they are a skip for me. Let's talk about the last thing from this week. Again, I'm a little bit behind, uh, but these are the Jewish Place Complexion products. There is the Natural Radiant Foundation and there's also the Eye Magic Powder Foundation. Um, and a sh unique shape makeup sponge, which, yeah, whatever. I do have to say I am not mad about Juvie's Place uh, releasing um, like more uh, radiant foundation and I feel like this one would be more up my speed to be honest as well as the powder foundation probably just using it a powder to be honest. Uh, I think the shade range could work for me. But yeah, I could definitely see myself purchasing that. It does look good, could work for me. Again, the powders... I think there are six shades if I am not. No, there should be more. Uh, there are a lot of shades, but yeah. I think it's not going deep enough, uh, light enough for me. Oh, there are two strange shaped, like, the brush is looking kind of cool as well. I do want to um, add in the Fula palette from Juvia's. Uh, again, it's not available at the moment for me, but I want to add in that as well. So I can see myself pick up the uh, foundation as well for me. These were all the new makeup releases for this week. I hope you I hope you have as much fun as I had. I think this is an amazing start in the new year, like uh, L'Oreal bringing out products that help people if they can't like put on lipstick normally, as well as brows, then other products I absolutely love. Again, I also purchased this one. I purchased the Udens. I do have a few things on my list, especially from NYX. So yeah, I am super excited about this, um, about the new year, about everything, about new releases, and I'm hoping that there will be new and fun releases. Uh, also, please write down in the comments if you are interested in any of these, if you want me to try any of these, so you can decide if you want to buy any of these. Write it down in the description box and I wish you a beautiful next week and we see us in my next video. Bye guys.